Hey, what's up guys? Kellen again here with Droid Life, and we're taking a look this time at multiple user, guest logins, that sort of thing on phones. So tablets have kind of had this on Android for a little while now, but with Lollipop, we're actually getting it on phones. So you could create a guest account, allow people to access your phone and, and, and use um, you know certain parts of it. And then you could also create separate users so people could install their own apps, change their wallpaper and things like that, and really sort of make the phone have their own profile, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so to access that, you basically just, you could do a double finger swipe down so that you get your quick toggles. And you'll notice you have a little profile icon. You tap on that and that launches you into this menu. So you can see I have me as the owner. There's also a fake account I created and then there's the guest account. And if I'm logged in as owner, I can also create new ones. But let's jump into more settings. This is a page you'll get to where you have some other settings you can set. Like you could allow one of your guest accounts to place calls and send text messages or you can remove them from there. With your guest account, and that actually just switched over, apologize for that. Uh, with your guest account, you can really only allow them to make uh, make calls or take calls. They can't have SMS power. Uh, but so I tapped on guest and this is switching me over. And so you can see it says, welcome back. Do you want to continue where you left off or start a new one? So basically you could allow somebody to use your phone as a guest and they could pan the phone back to you. And uh, then you could give it back to them because they need to use it again and they could continue on where they left off. And so that's significant because with a guest account, you actually allow people to add accounts and things like that. So they could add accounts, check their email, send emails, things like that if they want to. And so you can really give them some power and then they can wipe all of their information by starting over, which is what I just did there. So guest account is kind of a neat little tool. Uh, if somebody were to lose their phone or they have a phone that has a terrible battery life and it dies and they still need to access things. Um, I can also jump into this other account I created and, uh, from in there, you know, you could change the wallpaper um, and things like that. And you can actually set up apps and basically set up a phone the way you would like it to look um, just like you normally would. You actually set up uh, separate users and they go through an entire setup process and input their, you know, Gmail account and things like that. And like I said, download apps, install things, all that stuff. So uh, you'll notice I did go back to my owner account and it is asking for my pattern. So that's something I would recommend you do. If you're using multiple users on a phone, you might want to set up a pin or a pattern so that if people go back to the owner account. They can't just access the owner account and start doing everything. At least they have to enter a password or something like that. Um, so if we jump back there and just kind of show you this section, um, and then back into settings just to show you what's going on here. Uh, if I were to add a new user, just to show you what it looks like, and I hit OK, and it should ask me if I want to set up. And so if I say, yep, let's go ahead and set up now, it really does act just like if you were setting up a phone for the first time. So there's a welcome screen. It walks you through some connectivity. Sorry, I just bypassed the uh, warning sign that this is a preview build. Uh, but it's checking my connection and so it asks for you know for wi-fi and then it goes into your gmail account and asks for permissions and all that stuff and i'm just going to try to skip all this stuff and for some reason i keep typing joe but i type du jour which is fine and yep we'll keep going through here and even some permissions on location and things like that and then you know setup is complete and then you're taken to your home screen where you can start customizing things. So it's really a pretty simple process. It's also very cool if you have a phone that you, you're going to have, you know, your kids use or a uh, other family member or friend or whatever. So now you can see I've got different accounts. Uh, now I will show you that if you go into more settings and you're logged into a specific account, you can actually change their name in here or they can even change their little icon. They could take a picture to put as their icon or they could choose one from a gallery or something like that. So you can kind of do a little bit of customization other than just having color coded dots there. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, again, that's multi-user and sort of guest logins in Android Lollipop. Uh, just another feature we're taking a look at. So uh, if you guys have comments or questions, want us to look at anything else, we're gonna continue to do that. So for now though, we are Droid Life. Peace.